morning, everyone. Today is Tuesday. Um, we have a special treat for you. Um, the Air National Guard base is going to be doing a flyover to honor our nurses and our doctors. They're flying over the local hospitals. And I know that at the hospitals, they have some um, extra things going on for the workers who are there, the nurses, the doctors, and all the essential personnel who are there helping the doctors and the nurses. So this, so, and we'll be able to see them from our house. We'll go over to the park across the street and wait to see the flyover. The Yale National Guard base is pretty close to us. It's about 40 minutes away. And I grew up close, living close to the base, so I saw the planes all of the time. I don't know if the girls have ever really noticed them. They don't train up here very often. They do occasionally, but it's not very often. So this is a special treat for the girls too. Now, Emily did get to go to an air show when she was a baby, when I was stationed at Ellsworth Air Force Base, but she probably doesn't mean, remember any of it. And we went when it was, we went at the wrong time of day because it was really hot. She was not really fussy. So one day I'd like to take them down to New Jersey to go see the big air show that's down there. Um, we had talked about making plans to do it last year. It just didn't, the, the plans just never went any further than us talking about it. So hopefully in the next year or so, we'll get down there. So I hope you enjoy seeing the flyover. The girls are currently working on the schoolwork. Um, I wanna take you to go see what they're doing and they can explain to you what they're doing. Uh, I will say that I am not too terribly heartbroken over the kids being home. I'm actually thankful that the schools are closed. I think that they made the right decision in keeping them closed for the rest of the year. I am hoping that they'll be able to go back in the fall. I know that there are whispers of them not going back. I know there are whispers of colleges not opening back in the fall. I'm really hoping that's not the case, but we'll see what happens. Um, I know that they'll make the best decision decision that they need to do, that they need to. Uh, but let's go check out what the girls are doing. So, what are you working on, Miss Melody? I'm working on counting to 100. You are? You got a sheet there? Yeah, it's a whole dry away sheet. We need, we need the, the oasis. Yeah, well, we'll just use um wipes for right now. And maybe we'll get an eraser later. Okay. I'm really using Evie's easy, easy dry away marker. Oh, okay. Hey, Miss Emily, so what are you up to? I am watching my Good Morning video. I have one every every day of the week. Wait, she tells us what we're doing and gives us information about things. Oh, very cool. So what have they gone over so far? Because I know I had you stop the video so you could t tell us what's going on. Um, we, we have math. 17. Our math, we're going back to think So for a while she was giving us math assignments. And... Um. Making a little sound and like also, this. And we're going, and we are also, she also talked about uh, what we're doing for reading kids A to C. Kids A to C. A to Z. Oh, very Z. cool. It's a reading thing. Yep, they have books on there. They assign her books, for, they assign the books all at one time. Mm -hmm. And she gets to pick which one she wants to read every day. And she just needs to make sure that she w reads all of them. By the end of the week. Now A to Z, what they do is they they um, read the book to her. Then she reads the book on her own. And then she answers questions, right? Yeah. Now, what level are you reading right now? Right now, I'm reading level I. You're still reading level I? Yeah. And that's what she was reading when school shut down. Um, and school So here we are. Through. We're in the park uh, waiting for the plane. It's going to be a C-130. It's uh, coming from the Air National Guard base in Scotia. I do apologize if you can hear the construction going on in the background. National Grid is replacing the uh, our gas lines, and they've been here for I don't know the good the better part of a month or so. It is a very chilly spring day in May. And you know, we never know what our springs are going to bring up in New York because three years ago, 
today, the kids were in their bathing suits in the pool. Last year, it was cold. Um, and the year before that, it was beautiful out and they were again swimming. We spend quite a bit in this park walking around, running around, the kids love it. And it's right across the street from our house, so it's really nice. Uh, the picture in our outro of the climbing tree is in this park. It's down at the other end. There it is, see you guys? Wave, hi! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it's so cool! It is. Now, I was stationed at Ellsworth Air Force Base in South Dakota, and we had the B-1 bombers, and they were loud going over the base housing. But they're beautiful planes. I also remember flying from Balad to Kuwait on a C-130. That was cool, right, girls? What did you think? Now, mom got to fly in one of those things. What? Yeah. They transported mom from one of the base at her deployment to another. That's cool. Wow. 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 <laughs> I got I really like to kick the kids to an air show. Um. Mel and Emily did get to go to one when we were stationed out in South Dakota, but she was a baby, so she probably doesn't remember. And it was extremely hot. All right, ladies, let's go finish our schoolwork, okay? Yeah, it is continuing going not as planned because originally we were going to just be having macaroni and carrots and I was gonna make a big, huge thing of macaroni, but I do not have enough butter or milk to make the big thing of macaroni and cheese. So we have a small thing of macaroni and cheese. Um, so and this is what we're having for lunch today. Tomorrow we are going to go grocery shopping. So hopefully we won't have this problem tomorrow. What do you think of the meal, Miss Melody? You like it? I'm good, it's the macaroni. Okay, now I boiled the hot dogs. We don't have a microwave. Um, and I kind of like it like that. Uh, we have a lot more room on our counter for cooking which we don't have a lot of counter space so not having the microwave up there we have a lot more room for counter space what do you think of the meal miss met emily mm, it looks pretty good hi anything else all righty our present for melody for her bedroom came i can't wait to open it with her Though her room's not ready for it to be put in her room, so we'll probably open it so she can see what it is, and then we'll put it back in the box. But I'm really, really excited. I hope she likes it. Stay tuned. What do you think it is? Um, a toy. A toy? Assembly, come over here. Come. What do you think it is? Uh... You don't know? All right, go ahead and open it, Miss Melody. What is it? It's a bean bag. It's a bean bag. Emily, help me pull it out. Let's go. Oh, why did you get me a bean bag? Oh my gosh. Oh. Uh, can you turn gosh. the box up, upside down? Yeah, we can turn the box upside down. Let's go. Help me, Melody. Put it up. Sit it up. Oh, 
So what is it? Can you turn it around so I can see? It's a unicorn bean bag. It's a unicorn bean bag? Yeah. That's I, really cool. All right, sit. Sit I in it. This is on the well, no, it's for your bedroom. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and sit on it. I can't Do you I like it? We'll think it. Mommy will think about it. But do you like it? Yeah. Mommy was gonna make you. We're gonna make you a reading nook, and that's gonna be by your bookshelf, so you can read, sit and read. You're the best, mom. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you like it, honey. I love it. Hey, Emily, can you come sit in it? Because mommy was thinking about getting you one, and mommy wants to see if you're too big for it or not. Okay, I can't. No, can you please come over here now and be in the room? What do you think? You like it? So do you want one? Do you want the unicorn one too? Okay. It's so soft. I want to have a reading hook. I want to have a reading hook. Okay. I'm glad you like the it. The plan is, is for us to put it over here. Eventually, I'd like the bookcase to be in her closet. And then for her to have those, that's, I don't know what it's called. But it's a special shelving where you only see one book. And I want to put her leveled readers there so that she always has easy access to her leveled readers, but all of her other books are kept in her closet. Now, this is not... Now, this is, those aren't all of the books that Emily and Melody have. They have tons more, and I read to them all of the time. Uh, right now, we're reading Wayside Stories from Wayside Schools. I remember reading it as a kid, and the girls are really enjoying it, and they're going to tell you what their favorite... When we finish it, they're going to tell you what favorite what their favorite story was from the book. And I don't know if all of you remember or if you had read it. But the first book is like an introduction to all of the characters. Mrs. Jules and all of the students. So I think it's a really good book and I do highly recommend it. But we'll get into more to that once we finish reading the book. We only have two more. We only have two more short stories to read. And then we'll be done. The girls do want to go on to the next book right afterwards. Uh, so we'll let you know. So we'll, we'll let you know what the girls think and if they like the story or not. Now, does anyone else have... I know a lot of people do them. But does anyone else have a, a book nook for their kids? And if so, what are those shelving units called? Um, Mark and I have seen them in the store and, and we are planning on getting one down the road it's just this is just a really slow process for us but we'll get there so for dinner tonight we're making one of our favorite meals it's kielbasa bow ties peas and cheese now depending on who makes it because both mark and i we share cooking responsibilities um is depending on how we cut the kielbasa i like to cut it i like to cut them in half because then you can get more on your on your fork and you get your cheese and your noodles um i feel like just the whole round piece is a little bit too much um you can put whatever kind of cheese you in it you want in, into it you don't have to put peas in it i like the peas i think it's healthier for the kids um and i like to melt the cheese mark won't melt the cheese in the pan because it all sticks to the pan and it's harder to clean i don't really see a big difference especially if you wash it the same night that you do it um, Mark should be home soon. He stopped at the store because we think she didn't have any cheese. Uh, Melody also needed band-aids um, because she failed to tell us that she outgrew her shoes the other day and they went for a walk. And while they were on their walk, the shoes uh, put blisters on her heels, which is a recurring problem for her. I don't know if she just has really sensitive skin on her feet, unlike me and the rest of the family. But, uh, show you the finished product once it's all done listen to that sizzle i love that sound now i do like to have them browned a little bit so it'll be a little bit before these are done uh, i do put a little bit of oil in the pan and i don't drain the pan after i after the pasta is all done i just put everything all in here all at once because I think that the juices from the kielbasa all over the all over the noodles adds a nice little bit of flavor. But I mean, I suppose you could drain it if you wanted to. And I don't know if I mentioned this before. You can use whatever flavor pasta you want. 
not flavor pasta, kibasa. Um, and I'm sure you could use different shaped noodles. Emily just really likes the bow tie noodles. It was one of the first kind of no shaped noodles that we were able to get her to eat. Because uh, she had an aversion to pasta when she was little. Now, once the meat is cooked a little bit, I add the peas so that, because we're using frozen peas, because those are the peas that Mark prefers. Whoa. So you went fishing today? Yep. How was it? It sucked. Why? Too cold, too windy. Oh. Not the ones to bite in this temperature. Oh, well that stinks. Normally I'd be pulling walleye and bass out like it was going out of fashion and the trout would be biting good on dry flies by now, but when it's 31 degrees every night, nothing happens. Yeah, you know, I was actually talking about that earlier today. Um, the first year, we, the first full year we were in the house, the kids were outside in the pool. Yeah, well, this is the worst start to a fishing season I've had in almost a decade. Oh, well, that's and it's just purely the temperatures. Oh. Well, that stinks. Well, hopefully it looks pretty So, here's what it looks like when it's done. Now, you're already started eating this, Emily and Melody. What do you two think of it? It's yummy. It's delicious. It's delicious. I love this meal. It's one of our favorite meals. We make it often enough that... Mm -hmm. That we like it. Though, you know, it took me forever to find bow tie noodles. Um, I found them at Target, and we don't have a big, huge Target... Now, our Target's actually not, does not have a big, huge grocery section, right? It's moderate at best. Yeah. So, I was editing today's video, and I realized that I forgot to film an outro yesterday. So, here it is. Um, and while I was editing, I noticed a couple of things. Like, I could have zoomed in on the C-130 when it was flying over, so you get a better view of it, and I didn't. Um, but please know I am trying and I am going to get better and I am making notes and watching the mistakes that I make. Uh, so over time, we will, I will get better. At least I'm hoping so. Um, but I hope that you enjoyed tomorrow's video and we'll see you then. Have a great day. Bye.